hey welcome back all right so today i want to share with you my top 10 new home decor diys they all like got a modern feel to it most of the items that i use are going to be from the dollar tree a few not from the dollar tree but they all are going to be super easy modern home decor diys that you can do yourself in your home all right let's get started all right so for this first one it is real simple it is a mirror that i got from michael's and i'm just taking a foam ring from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna cut it in half so like so that it has a flat part because it's you know round on both sides so i'm cutting it so that it has a flat part so it can stick to the mirror so i wanted to have the shape of the mirror if you can find something that has the shape of a mirror that would be great but um i did, couldn't find anything the same width of the mirror so i have to go around it like this and then i'm going to cut it into parts till it all fits around the mirror then i took a piece of cardboard and i cut that into the same circle shape as the mirror also but made it into like a little ring so that it can hold the foam pieces all together so that's it it's real simple it's real easy for that part you're just making a base for the foam ring um i'm sure you can find another way to do it but i wanted to have um kind of a a hump type thing because i'm going to be putting more items from the dollar tree on it so i needed it to have that base on it once you have your foam ring pieces and you have the cardboard piece and you're just going to take and hot glue them to it i filled in a little because the, it's going to be a little bit of spacing it's going to be a little bit of spacing because of the um the gaps so i just filled those in with more foam pieces and then i just took and hot glue directly onto it the beads from the dollar tree they come in a pack of 10 i think they used to come in a pack of 12 i don't know can't be for sure but they come in a pack of 10 and you can just size them up you can do them all at one time but the sizing is going to kind of slightly change as you go around more but you just hot glue it on you don't want to use too too much hot glue but a good amount of hot glue to get it on there don't do what i did um i was trying to save time and I, at one point of it i did use they have these neckties at the dollar tree now that for like saint patrick's day and stuff like that and they're beaded so i was like oh same thing they don't bend the same so i do have one section of the mirror that has that that i don't like how it does look once i was done with that i just hit it with a spray paint the spray paint is better because it goes in all the cracks then i made a loop for the back and used a ton of hot glue to make sure it stayed on real well then i was going to glue it to the mirror but i saw that it, you could see the green underneath so i hit that with the spray paint and then glued it on and this is how it turned out now on to our next one this one is a tray that i wanted to make you can make this as big or as small as you want it i'm only going to be using two packs of the jenga blocks from the dollar tree these are great because you can stain these you can do two different colors of stains you can do whatever you want with these the stain might come out a little bit neater than the, um the paint did come out i have to do a few touch-ups but you're going to figure out how big you want yours so i just laid it out to see you know how wide across i need it because i was trying to figure out did i need more than just the two packs that i had there and then i painted it you i painted the sides i painted the little edges you don't have to do that because you're going to be gluing them all together i did it because i didn't know what pieces i was going to be using on the outside and i was trying to save time for later but you don't have to do that but i did paint one whole pack white and one whole pack black let that dry and then i came back and started gluing them together you could use wood glue for time's sake i just used hot glue but you can use any type of glue as long as it you know doesn't dry with the color and it keeps everything together nice i just put a little bit of hot glue in between the pieces and then when you go on to the other side you want to glue the rows together as well the main part in this you want to keep them straight so if you have something to line it up because in your eye it might look straight but then it might sway off a little bit and then when you go to line them up together then you'll see the swing so you want to make sure that whatever you're doing you're keeping it straight 
and then you go on to the next row and you can do the row separate and glue it together or you can do it button it up and glue in it like that so everything is connected and everything looks the way you want it to look i then took and cut off the edges you're going to want to cut if you're using some type of saw upside down like that because i cut one side the other way and it's splintered so you want to make sure you cut upside down less splintering and then you're just going to do the edges i did mine raised so that it could be as high as possible but i just alternated the colors glued those on and this is how it turned out All right, now for this one, another super simple one. This one I had this tray since Christmas. Um, the little Santas or elves don't really go up my decor. So I'm just going to paint it and put a little bottom piece on it to make it like, you know, kind of like a pedestal type bowl. This is another piece from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can jazz this up, do a lot of things with the handle, different things with the top, but I just want to keep mine nice and simple and one color. So I just hot glued that, let that dry, and then took all the parts and spray painted them with the black spray paint and let that dry. Okay, now for this one. This one is another quick and simple one. These are cups from the Dollar Tree. They come in two different sizes. I like the shape of them. I'm just going to get rid of the straw part. You can cut it off, saw it off. You cut it off, it's going to take a little bit of work, but it does cut off eventually. And then it sits real flat. The little straw-like piece, I'm just going to turn that to the back when I'm done. So I'm not too worried about that. And then I just glued these plates on top. It's awesome because the little dot in the middle kind of lines up with the little dot in the middle of the cup. So you can make sure it's nice and centered without any issues. So I just hot glued it, put it down, let it dry. And then once it was dry, I came back and I painted it, like spray painted it. You can use a textured paint, something a little thicker. You can cover these with cement. That would be a nice look too, but I just did um, the spray paint, let that dry, and then came in with the stone spray paint finish. Okay, now for this one. This one I have this rope that I have. The rope was really inexpensive. And I'm just going to start to make a circle. So you, I'm just using hot glue. Um, be careful that you don't, you know, burn yourself. But I want the center of it as tight as possible. So I'm taking the hot glue, letting it dry a little bit, and then just continuously going out on the circle, gluing, but not every single inch of it, but gluing, you know, a good amount of it together and just making the circle as big as I want it. It was, um, I bought a pack of the rope. I'm, hmm, I forgot how long this rope was because, like, as you could see, it wasn't in the pack. But um, I just glued it around, and it was a decent size. Like, you'll see these pieces for a lot. This rope only cost me a couple of dollars, and I've seen these pieces for like 40 is the cheapest side, and then going up from there to if you go to Anthropology or something like that, it could be really expensive to get these type wall hangings. Once I was done, I just tucked the little end piece behind it and that was it. Let that glue dry and that's it for that part. You can then shape it. Um, you don't have to shape it while you're making it. It's just, it's really kind of bendable when you're doing it. So once I was done, I just, you know, lifted it up a little bit on the edges and then came in and painted it. If you really want a real high end look, you can go in with like an embroidery thread and do each one of these um, triangles with the embroidery thread. So you would just go in and do it because it does take a lot of work to try to get these lines as crisp as possible. And you know, you'd have to do a lot of touch ups, but if you have the thread and you're using the thread, it will be a lot easier to make them look nice and neat, but it will take you a bit longer. I've seen it when you do it individually as you're going around but you can do it many different ways. This is the easiest way to get the look. Once I was done with that, I came and made it a little braided rope for the back. Real simple. 
which is some Dollar Tree twine. And then I braided it. Like I said, I just cut it into three pieces as long as I wanted it to hoop over. So you're gonna want it, you know, twice because it's hooping over. Took some hot glue and just hot glued that down. Let it dry and on the, on the back too. I used a lot of hot glue to make sure that the piece stayed on and I didn't have any issues with it. Okay, now for this one, this one is super simple. This is just a candle holder from the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a, a long time. I like the shape, but um, I don't really use it. So I uh, spray painted it with this spray paint and put this plant that I had got from the Target bullseye section. You can fill the top, but I didn't. And then this is how it turned out. Super quick, super simple. All right, so I wanted to make a high and inspired cement bowl and you can see they go for a lot at the high end stores, but we're gonna make ours for real cheap. I'm using a bowl, a drip, a drip pan bowl from the Dollar Tree. I couldn't find a bowl to go inside to make the inside, so I'm just making one out of cardboard. I had an extra piece from a cement thing that I had and then to get the bottom piece of it, I'm just taping some extra cardboard that I had. So you can make your mold shapes yourself if you want to when you're working with cement by using cardboard, just like I did. Taped it up nice and good so it didn't leak through. And that's it, that's gonna be the piece that I use for the inside. Like I said, I'm using the drip tray from the Dollar Tree to make this cement bowl. And it's just real simple. I'm gonna be using this quick set cement. I'm gonna mix it right in the bowl that I'm gonna be using for it. I'm gonna mix it until it's like a thickish kind of consistency but not too too thick but um once i get the right consistency i added a little paint um to mine once i was done mixing it and everything and stuff just to try to give it some color i didn't mix it in thoroughly but to for your cement you don't have to leave it the color that it is you can add different things to it you can paint it afterwards you can do you know whatever you want when you're making your own cement projects and that's the whole fun part of doing your own DIYs. Once I leveled it out the way I want it to, I pushed in my little inside cardboard bowl and then I just tried to straighten out the sides. I don't want it to be perfect because I want it to look, you know, authentic. So I don't want it to be perfect. Before it completely dried, you can wait till it dries because it's the cardboard, it is easy to move. But once um, it partially dried, I just came in and took out the bowl in the inside and then just still smoothed out some of the pieces on this side. Like I said, I don't want them to be too perfect because I want it to have that, you know, rough kind of look. But this is how it is at the end. You can see on the part that had the plastic part, it's real smooth, like right there. And then on the inside, it's rough. So I'm just gonna sand it out and take away the little tiny chip pieces that are at the top. But this is how it turned out and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. And it's super big because I used the um, Dollar Tree drip pan and I love the way it turned out. Let me know what you thought. Okay, now for this one. This one is another quick and simple one. I have these foam rings from the Dollar Tree's foam circles. They come in a pack of two, and then I just wanted to add a little bit of texture to them. So what I did is just made some lines with the hot glue gun. With these lines, okay, I painted mine all one color. You can, because of the texture of the lines, come in and do some type of gold finish or something on this, you know, to give it just that extra. I just wanted mine all black, plain and simple. And then I took these beaded bracelets that Dollar Tree has. They have them in more than the black, but I'm using the black for this to make it, you know, a little easier. And then I just put the bracelets around the rings. You can also hot glue it so it stays in place real nice. But once I got them on, they, they worked well, so I didn't um, hot glue it. Then 
that's it that really for that part so it stays like that and then i did it to both of them and then i came back with um a piece of wood scrap that i did have you can probably find a base for this at the dollar tree too but i had this piece of wood scrap and then some dowels that i had from the dollar tree i'm gonna have them both sit on the same piece so i wanted to make sure that they worked took the dowels i was going to use two but i realized i didn't want them that high so i just cut one part of the dowel small and then the other part was the other one so they were not even side by side so one is higher than the other and then i just took my largest drill bit that i had and i put holes in i didn't go all the way to the edge but just like about an inch or so in from the edge and i just eyeballed it straight across and made another hole on that side put some hot glue in it and inserted the dowels and let them dry but see with the largest drill bit it was like a perfect fit for this so it's real simple and you can do this with other things it doesn't have to be you know the circles or anything like that but you can play around with this in so many different ways instead of spending you know a bunch of money i did the same little hole for the top you can probably just poke it straight through there without even you know drilling it because it is just foam um and when i was painting it though i did because i didn't glue the bead pieces down i pulled them down at a point so that they weren't in my way when i was painting the thing but i then i did come back and i did paint the um what do you call it the rope the string that's holding it together and then you can see them there they look like little ethnic drums or something like that like if you went to restoration hardware they would call this like some kind of ethnic drum and charge you two hundred dollars but this is it now for this one this one's a simple easy cement one i had this vase from the dollar tree i had painted it but i wanted to give it a little more thickness and i love doing things with cement so i just used the feather finish cement for this and i'm just mixing it up till you get like a good consistency and i'm slapping it right on there with my um hands if you want a smoother finish don't do it with your hands you know do something so that it has a nice smooth finish or you could wait till it dries a little bit and then come in and smooth it out a little more i was fine with the texture and i wanted it to have a you know handcrafted kind of look to it i did put a little cement in the inside and on the lip and this is how it came out okay now for this one quick and simple okay i tried this several different ways you ever see those um pieces and um i've seen people maybe do it with what clay or something like that i don't know but i got this the tile the stick tile from the dollar tree and i was like in the inside it has to be you know dipped in so i just peeled off the little sticky back and it came off rather easy I tried it with a thing that had corners. I didn't like it because you had to cut it. So I was like, let me try it with something that is round shaped so that I can just roll it around. Only thing I would do different, I would pick one of the Dollar Tree vases that didn't have that lip up top because it was just enough to wrap around and like I didn't want to cut it into pieces. And also what I would do is cut off the straight piece. You see the straight piece where I'm gluing it onto? I would cut all those off because that part doesn't have the little dip ends it's just straight so it doesn't give you that same look you know that you have at the other parts so those two things i would do different if i did it again i would use a piece that didn't have the coming out piece on the top and cut off those pieces first because i wind up having to do it after the fact after i hot glued everything down then i was had to figure out how to cut the piece off the top to give it a more realistic look but for the bottom i just came in and cut off the extra and kind of just folded it down and hot glued it as i went around the corners that part was fine and it sits up straight just fine with no problems but you do it in little sections it's not easy to do it all at one time so you do that in little sections but that part is easy 
then when I got to the top I realized I didn't like that line thing and then I wasn't going to be able to cover that other piece easy without making it look patched together so I just left that piece out really because it already had the textured effect from when I did something else to the vase before so I was like okay with the paint hopefully it'll blend in but um as I started gluing the top like I said I realized that it didn't have that natural look because you can see the straight line right there drove me crazy like really drove me crazy but as when I started painting it I, I thought I could cover it up with the paint but it wasn't blending together so that's when I came back in and I just um got a razor blade I tried to do it with scissors at first but it was already glued down I got a razor blade and just cut it not even at all just cutting out chunks and pieces so that it had that same dipped in kind of uneven look that the stone pieces have on the bottom and then just hit it with a little more hot glue and the flusher it is with it when you hit it with the paint it blends in better so the flusher that it is with it so you can go around and do that like i said before before you glue it then i hit it with this multi-textural paint and this is how it turned out Okay, so that was it for today. Let me know what you thought and I will see you in the next one.